Hi, I'm Dr. Serena Killam, and I'm showing you a quick, uh, easy way to use Scrivener for writing your thesis in these series of videos. Now, one of the questions I get asked all the time when I deliver workshops on using Scrivener is, how do you get Scrivener to work with your uh, reference manager? So I use EndNote, and as you can see here in my EndNote, I've got um, over 1,600 different references in my EndNote, and I've got them really super organized and probably a bit messy as well. Um, the thing is that Scrivener doesn't communicate directly to your EndNote library or to your reference manager, but you are still able to use Scrivener with almost all reference managers. The exception here is Zotero. Um, it doesn't work with Zotero and I'm going to show you why um, in a minute. So let's just go and randomly choose any reference here. I'm going to right click on it and I just want to copy it. I'm going to go back to my Scrivener project and I'm going to um, command alt shift with a V to paste it. And you can see there that it's put in, um, in squiggly brackets, the author's surname, the year of the paper, as well as this reference number, hashtag one, four, Five, zero. Now that's its unique reference number from my EndNote library. Um, so if I just flick back to my EndNote library here, so um, that means that this journal article, EndNote gave it the reference in this particular library that I've named Main Library June 2018. It gave it this number, 1450. So um, if I switched to a different library, then I would start to run into problems later. Um, that unique reference number is really, really important. And most reference managers uh, software uses a unique reference number system. Zotero doesn't. And that's why um, you can't use it with Scrivener. So say if I wanted to put a page number in now, I just put a comma and I go at 89. So this means when I uh, export my um, thesis from, uh, from Scrivener and get it um, the site as you write, like EndNote to work with Microsoft Word, Microsoft Word will be able to read all of this uh, basic code in here. It will know to go and look for Whitman 2009. It will know the reference number. And because I've used the at symbol 89, it'll be able to convert that into page numbers, depending on whether you're using APA or MLA or um, any other type of um, way that you want to format your bibliography. The thing I love about this is that this is unlike in Microsoft Word. This is not like a live link. It doesn't have to keep communicating back and forth to EndNote. And so it doesn't, it's not going to crash on you. I had Microsoft Word and EndNote crash so many times because of that. Um, it also means that you don't actually have to go over to EndNote if you can remember. You can just type in um, whatever it is. Um, you want in squiggly brackets and it will remember as long as you know the reference number it will know to go and get it it will know that that is a reference okay I hope that helps